How many customers have you talked to over the years that you talked to five years later? All of them. All of them, right? <laughs> right? And it's little things like that. Like, hey, I just noticed my batteries don't seem to be quite the capacity that they did five years ago. What do we do? If you went from that point and then you said, well, okay, I have these batteries and this is where they're at after five years and now I'm gonna add these new batteries in. This battery that is new is going to be able to reach 100% in and of itself, but when it's connected to this old one that doesn't have the same capacity as when it was new, it boat anchors your new battery. Right. The new battery will match the old battery capacity right. like that. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that it's you can't do it. That's just the understanding that you need to have. Right. You're gonna pay full price for this and add it into a bank that's already kind of old. So it's all it's also going to be kind of old. I mean, if you really like, if it was me, I would just do a capacity test. Is it still pulling the same capacity that it was because I stuck to a 20 to 80% depth of discharge? Then go ahead and put a second battery on. If you're cycling the battery like your average grid tie uh, battery backup, maybe like 20 to 80%, the cells would last you 10 years if you discharged them every single day. Right. And that's not, keep in mind, that's not like at the end of 10 years, the battery's junk and you got to e-waste it. No, it's like, it's 10,000 cycles at 80% capacity. It's going to be a linear drop in the sense of after two years, you're going to lose 3% capacity. And three more years, these are just a back of the napkin, a bar napkin, as you would say, right? 99% of people, Grid tie, off grid, they're never gonna notice it because they're not going to discharge it to 100% depth of discharge every single day. Because if you are, you don't have enough battery. To be on the safe side, I give everybody 12 months. That means you get a crack at every season. I'm sure it will be enough in the summer. Sure. Is it enough in the fall? What is it like in the winter? Yeah. You know, when you get back to spring, are you like, oh my God, I need to buy another battery this summer? Like you have, you have a year to figure it out. I always use you as an example. I'm like, well, look, man, my brother has batteries that are different ages <laughs> than each other. And the trade-off is periodically he will have to get in and top end balance right. his batteries. Well, I'll charge these ones Requires up a little more maintenance. And then I'll charge these ones up to 100% separately, and then I'll put them back together. Right. If you know how, and you don't mind extra maintenance, yeah, sure, you could. But you know, from like um, you want to set it and forget it. Right. You should add your additional batteries in the first year.